your mother was right. Isn't she always? Chicken soup has been shown to be helpful for colds in a study, says Lynn Harvitz, MD, a clinical instructor in medicine at Wheel Cornell Medical College in New York City. One of the best home remedies, chicken soup may have anti-inflammatory properties that could ease the symptoms of upper respiratory tract infections, according to the study, published in Chest. The researchers found that chicken soup curbs white blood cells called neutrophils, reducing their movement when tested in laboratory dishes. Also consider what doctors and nurses do at home to stop a cold in its tracks. Just keep in mind that a warm cup of chicken noodle is no stand-in for a visit to a doctor. It's important to be seen and examined. Regular store-bought honey may be more effective at easing cough and improving sleep for kids than honey-flavored over-the-counter cough suppressant, according to a study in the Archives of Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine. This is a big deal, as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has said that over-the-counter cough medications are too risky for kids under 2. The researchers gave one half teaspoon of honey to children ages 2 to 5, one teaspoon to children 6 to 11, and two teaspoons to those ages 12 to 18. Just don't give honey to children under one because it can cause potentially life-threatening infantile botulism. Warm salt water rinses can often help sore or swollen gums feel better due to an antimicrobial effect, shares Sol Pressner, a dentist in New York City. And there's a natural remedy for tooth pain, oil of cloves can sometimes soothe an inflamed tooth, but, he cautions, it is very important to see your dentist when these symptoms occur. To remove awards, the American Academy of Dermatology suggests sticking a piece of duct tape on the warts and then changing it every few days to peel away layers of the warts. A study out of Children's Hospital Medical Center in Cincinnati, Ohio, found that using duct tape is more effective than a doctor applying liquid nitrogen to freeze the warts. 85% of people in the duct tape group eliminated the warts during the study versus 60% of those in the liquid nitrogen group. Got chamomile tea? Get brewing. Cold packs or heating pads on the lower abdomen or back can help relieve cramps, as can soaking a washcloth in warm water and chamomile tea, and placing it on the same areas, says Jill Rabin, MD, co-chief of the Division of Ambulatory Care at the Women's Health Program's PCAP Services of Northwell Health in New Hyde Park, New York. If cramps are severe, see a doctor to make sure that you are doing all you can to ease your period pain. If you have a throbbing headache, try reaching for a cup of coffee. The caffeine constricts blood vessels, which can help with headache relief, says Tanya Elliott, MD, a clinical instructor in medicine at NYU Longonia, New York City. Caffeine also provides relief by blocking adenosine receptors, neurotransmitters in the brain that are elevated during a migraine, she adds. If you really have throbbing pain, try pairing your cup of coffee with OTC pain medication. Studies have shown that caffeine taken in combination with pain relievers like acetaminophen, or ibuprofen, enhances pain relief, she says. Just don't overdo this remedy. A spoonful of sugar doesn't just help the medicine go down, when it comes to hiccups, it may be the medicine. Why does it help? Hiccups are spasms of the diaphragm, which is a muscle beneath the lungs that helps you breathe. Anything that stimulates the back of your throat, including swallowing a gritty spoonful of sugar, could stop hiccups, according to a 2018 Ask the Doctor column in the Harvard Health Letter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.